Baby One More Time, song, Spears has named, Baby One More Time as one of her favorite songs from her catalog. Spears said, Baby One More Time was one of her favorite songs in her entire catalog, naming Toxic and He About To Lose Me as the other two. The song is composed in the key of C minor and is set in the time signature of 4 fourths common time with a moderate tempo of 93 beats per minute. Spears' vocal range spans over one octave from E3 to C5. The song begins with a three-note motif in the bass range of the piano, an opening that has been compared to many other songs, such as We Will Rock You, Start Me Up, these words and the theme song of the 1975 film Jaws due to the fact the track makes its presence known in exactly one second. After singing a shortened version of the song, she then took a few moments to shuffle into a form-fitting red rhinestone outfit and emerged onto a stage to perform, Baby One More Time. Spears was also criticized of lip-syncing the song during her performance. On, Baby One More Time tour, the encore consisted of a performance of the song, in which Spears wore a black bra under pink halter, a pink sequined plaid miniskirt, and black thigh-high stockings. On 2011's Femme Fatale tour, Baby One More Time was performed in a medley with the remix of Rihanna's S&M. On Spears' residency show Britney, Peace of Me in Las Vegas, the song was included on its set list. In 2003, the song was covered by American pop-punk band Bowling for Soup for the soundtrack of the film Freaky Friday and commented that their version was really, really, dark and really rock, dot. Not the kind of pop pie stuff that we usually do. In 2005, power pop band Fountains of Wayne covered the song for their compilation album Out of State Plates. In 2021, the same magazine ranked the song at number 205 on their updated list of 500 greatest songs of all time. Bill Lamb of About.com ranked, Baby One More Time at number 1 on a compiled list with the top 40 pop songs of all time. Scott Plachenhoff of Pitchfork noted, songs like Nirvana's Smells Like Teen Spirit, Dr. Dre's Nothing But A.G. Thang, and Britney Spears. Baby One More Time altered the landscape of pop culture so quickly in large part because they were delivered to all corners of the US simultaneously by MTV. MTV's ability to place a song and musician into the pop music conversation was unparalleled at the time, and by the end of the decade that meant absurd levels of both financial and creative commitment to music videos. Pop Matters' as writer Evan Sade commented that Spears' concept for the song's music video was the one responsible for her immediate success, saying that, as a result, the singer scored a massive number one single, inadvertently started the late 90s teen pop boom, and created a public persona for herself that was simultaneously kid-friendly and pure male fantasy. Her videos got played on both MTV and the Disney Channel at the same time, showing just how well Spears managed to walk that fine line between family-friendly pop idol and unabashed sex object. Credits for, Baby One More Time and Autumn Goodbye are taken from the single's liner notes, 819 BCBB 8580F.